we're learning all about ants. And for our math activity today, we're gonna learn a classic song, The Ants Go Marching with some numbers. We'll add a link to this song that you can find on YouTube, and it goes a little something like this. The ants go marching on the Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so the first way we're gonna do it after you listen and go through the lyrics of the song, I just have this chart and I wrote numbers one, two, three, four, five. And you may go further. So you could just point to a number and have your child say what number that is. Three, hold up three fingers and then sing the song. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. <laughs> And then after using the same chart, you could just take a marker. You could either tally, you could practice tally, or have them write the number next to it. So if you wanted to do tallies, one, two, three. And then you could go through each number. Now I'm gonna show you another way. Here we go. Now the second way you could use this activity, I made these flashcards your children can write the numbers down. You just cut the paper on squares or there's plenty of resources online that have flashcards or you might have your own set at home. So I did one all the way to 20. And as you're going through the song, they can hold up the number that you're singing about. And then just like the other sheet we did, they can pull out a random number like this. The number eight and then you could sing the song, the ants go marching with the number eight, or jump eight times, march in place eight times. And then what's so great about these, you can make it into a little book, or you could just hold on to them and just hold up numbers and practice them whenever, before dinner, before bed. Um, yeah, so I think these are two great ways to incorporate math in the ants go marching, so go march out your mask.